Hey guys, Tim here from Canada Tech TV. Today we are taking a look at this native 720p Joya W5 projector. I'm gonna show you what it looks like up on the wall. I'll show you a little bit of an audio sample. We're gonna go over the controls and I'm gonna give you my recommendation on it, so stay tuned. So yeah guys, this is a very attractive native 720p projector. In the past, a lot of these native 720p projectors, similar to like the CL760 that I've reviewed, they're kind of big. It's maybe this much bigger and kind of goes around um, in like a semicircle. This reminds me almost like a 480p size model, and in the same size package, you're getting a better picture. So I like the portability aspect of that. For 720p footage, it looks pretty good, and I'm gonna go over that with you, but let's take a look at some of the physical features before we get into that. So guys, this W5 projector is 720p natively, so you're definitely gonna notice that the native 720p projectors definitely are a big step up above the 480p projector. So if you've had any experience with the 480p projectors, or if you're looking at those, 720p is definitely a considerable step up in the quality and I would say that if you could get that that is a great starting point so you can kind of see here I'm gonna go in depth with some of the video quality in a minute here but first we're gonna look at the physical features so you're gonna have your focus wheel on the front here to help dial in your focus based on how far away you have it from the wall a keystone wheel to help correct the vertical tilt so if you're putting this up on the wall at a little bit of an angle you'll be able to correct that and then you'll get a remote as well, but you're going to have the basic buttons on there for the power on, power off, source, and navigation. You're also going to have a USB input. You've got two HDMI inputs, one on the back here, and then you're also going to have one over on the left side panel. Also on the left side panel, you're going to have an SD card slot, VGA spot, another HDMI port right there, AV jack, and a headphone jack. And you can hook up external speakers and improve the sound quality, so that's always a great option to have on your projectors. This is just to show you again the room, so you can kind of see couch there, you know, room space and everything here. So coming up on the left. This is the 100 inch diagonal screen that I've got set up on the wall. You can also see a little bit what this would look like with the lights on. That's kind of one lamp in the room. That's the only light that's on. You can definitely use it with the lights on a little bit. It's gonna look better in the dark and that's what we're gonna show coming up. But before we go any further, quick word from our sponsor, Outlinks. So Outlinks sent me over these stickers and it's a smart QR code sticker that you can basically place on anything in the real world and create a virtual link to. So some very practical uses for this are throwing this on, say, like a moving box, and then you can label all the items inside. You can even take pictures and show what's inside the box. So in my studio, I've got a ton of extra equipment, ton of extra products that I've reviewed, and I threw this on one of my Rubbermaid boxes, and now I know what's in there. So if I ever need to go in there, I'm not going to be just pulling out a ton of products. One other thing I did is I threw this on the back of my camera, and what I can do with that is I can actually plan my content schedule on there. I can just whip out my phone, use the Outlinks app, and then I can see all the different videos I've got coming up. There's other cool features too, like the ability to post comments, add images, and you can actually let other people post comments and open it up for them. So if you want people to post something, then you can kind of start a chain, which is pretty neat. So guys, Outlinks is a simple but useful tool that anybody can use. I appreciate Outlinks for sending over these samples and for sponsoring this video to bring this content to you. So lights are off and now I've got some free stock video footage that I got from D and Nick Nimmons free stock vids channel on YouTube. So this is always great test footage that I use with my projectors. It shows, you know, a bunch of different scenes here. You can kind of get a good grasp of the color and the brightness and kind of the clarity you're going to get. So like I said at the beginning of this video, 720p is a really good option for if it's your first time getting into projectors, uh, maybe you're upgrading from a 480p projector or something like that, but there's definitely a considerable quality jump when you go from 480p to 720p. Same thing when you get to kind of the 1080p, but 720p I think for most people is definitely pretty serviceable. And again, the way you're watching this right now is with the lights completely off, so it is nighttime. I've got blinds drawn and everything on my apartment windows. And so there's, you know, complete clarity. This is going to be best case scenario, as clear as it's going to get. And you can see there's no issue seeing anything on here whatsoever. There's pretty good clarity and the colors are pretty accurate as well. It's definitely not dim. It's not washed out. You might be saying, okay, that looks pretty good for stock video footage, but 
what about streaming and some other uses so let's take a look at that we're gonna go over to look at some streaming options and YouTube so just to show you again real quick this is again with the lights back on and you can kind of see you know this is the main Roku menu and the clarity you're gonna get I'm gonna show you Netflix here and so here you go here's the main menu looking at some of the thumbnails and things like that you can see if you had to you could still read the text and still see enough to use this during kind of daytime hours and things like that you know best case scenario would be though if you can control the light a little better or if you could put this say in like a basement or something like that so now with that the lights are off you can see the difference in the clarity right there you can go back and rewind that if you want between that transition there but again now that we're in complete darkness you can see everything kind of pops the colors look good you can see you know nice saturation there and you can definitely tell as you're popping through and scrolling through here that you can read the text pretty well also even that small text up in the top left corner there so you're not really going to have any issue seeing the thumbnails and stuff like that from your couch and further away all right we'll hop over to hulu here what streaming services do you guys use let me know in the comments down there but uh, this is the main menu here again just to give you a little bit of a different look you know again the text is nice and crisp obviously the thumbnails on the right look great and you can pop and see all that pretty clear again this is a definitely a good option for streaming if you're going to use this with like a roku box amazon fire stick something like that then this is definitely going to be good for you all right guys and what we're going to do next is i'm going to pull up one of my youtube videos for you to take a listen to so we're going to actually hear the internal speakers coming out of this projector i do not have these hooked up to any external speakers right now and this is going to be the sound quality that you can expect right here on Amazon as well but there's also an RPJ 116 model which they look definitely different the other one has a little bit more of like a ribbed look to it this one here has more of a flat look and profile on the sides and back and stuff like that so this one looks a little bit more modern so guys I was taken with my shotgun mic right next to the projector basically right behind it overhead almost so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just back this up a little bit. We're going to go about like five feet away from it, um, kind of at like a nine o'clock angle. And I'm going to let you listen to that just a little bit further away so you can get a more realistic experience with how far away you're going to be from the projector when you're watching most of the stuff. And ADP compatible, which really means nothing. I, that's one of my biggest pet peeves is a lot of these listings, if you look around, they say that they're 1080p projectors, and in reality they're 480p or 720 So not much difference there other than the volume being a little lower. Um, so the fan noise on this is really not too bad compared to a lot of other projectors that I've tried out. And I always recommend that you hook up an external speaker anyway when you're using any of these projectors that can hook up like that. So all you need is an aux cable. You can hook it up to like a Bluetooth speaker or something by line in, or you can use like an actual speaker system and really increase your sound quality. So that's definitely what I'd recommend. And as far as pixel peeping as they call it, if you really want to look at a close up look here of 720p footage, this is what you're going to get. So looking at some of the thumbnails here, you can see, you know, looking at the clarity close up, this is really zoomed in on it. And you can see, though, for the most part, you know, all the text you can see pretty well. When you zoom out, it gets even more crisp. So I don't think you're going to have an issue with that. You know, even looking up at the top here, if you zoom in on the very top level, even the small stuff up there is pretty visible. And if you zoom in on it, that's actually pretty sharp. So yeah guys, in my book, this thing's a winner. It's got two HDMI ports, it's got good quality, it's that native 720p, so it's gonna be pretty good for the average user. You're gonna be able to stream well with it, you know, maybe use it for some text and possibly PowerPoint. Uh, the brightness is pretty decent, you know, like all these, especially this budget range, it's gonna look best in a strictly dark environment or somewhere where you can really control the lighting. Now, I'm not sure if it's just a special deal since it's a newer projector by them right now that they have out, but it's a very, very good deal right now currently on Amazon. So the link will be down here below in the description. That is an affiliate link. It kind of helps me out if you purchase through there. I would hop on this for the current price. A lot of these native 720p projectors have been around 
150 to you know maybe $100 on the low end. Right now this is sub $100, you know that might change when you're seeing this, but I would really hop on this if you could get this around, you know, $80, 85 or less even. It's a very good option. I think you're going to be pretty happy with it. And as you see with the footage that I just showed you, you can get a pretty good home theater out of this. And guys, I do have a whole budget projector playlist that you'll see popping up over here. I've reviewed projectors from 240p all the way up to native 1080p. So I'd love for you to check that out if you are in the market for a projector or you like these type of videos. You also have a subscribe icon popping up over here. I review at least one item on my channel per week. A lot of them are projector reviews, a few other tech items as well. Thank you guys for watching with me here today though. Take care till the next one.